welcome back. We're going to look at this first closed read note. I also have our closed read organizer for inferencing open here. This is what will be in your assignment list today. We've already did this first one or I did the first one in the video earlier. We're going to start here at number one and it's still is the first one that is in your closed read prompts. So when I go to closed read, remember that you're going to make inferences, not analyze text features. Let's read it together. Highlight details from the caption and headings that help you make inferences about the dry valleys. So let's go to our table. Remember that we want to find out what, I, what we already know about this. Text clues, right, evidence from the text, and then we make our inference. So first and foremost, where are the headings and photo captions? I need to find the photos and the the photos, captions, and headings before I can go any further. Where are those headings and photo captions? Go ahead and pause the video now and try to find those. Let's see if we highlight the same things. Okay, so I can tell that these are my headings, right? Where it says between a rock and a cold place, the dry valleys Antarctica, and can a life survive in a very cold, dry place. Those are my headings and subheadings. Now my photo caption is gonna be right underneath the photo, right here in this black box. If you're looking at the book, it might look a little different, but the online book, all of our captions are usually in black. This is the Antarctic dry valleys. The dark places in the satellite photo are the largest ice-free areas in Antarctica. So we found our headings and we found our captions. So what can the reader tell about the dry valleys based on the words in the headings and photo captions? Well, first of all, let's examine what do we already know, okay, about the dry valleys. We might not know very much about the dry valleys, but we can see that photo, right? I can tell in the photo, the photo of Antarctica is covered in lots of snow and ice, right? Photo is covered in lots of snow and ice. I know that Antarctica is very cold. It is very cold. Okay, it must be a very cold place. So. Now let's find some text clues that help us understand or make help us come to a conclusion about the dry valleys just based on the headings and the captions. Okay, pause this video now and see if you can find, highlight for me, pieces of text in the headings and the captions that really show you what it's like or really tell you what it's like in the dry valleys of Antarctica. Go ahead now. All right, so if, like me, you had to think and think and think, it's okay. So I know, remember, I'm just asking myself, what is it like in Antarctica? All right, I'm trying to make an inference or an educated guess about what it's like in the dry valleys of Antarctica. Well, it tells me right here in this little blue subheading, can life survive in a very cold, dry place? And it's right underneath the heading of the dry valleys, Antarctica. All right, I can highlight, I can just move my cursor over a very cold, dry place. Now let's highlight that. And I'm going to go ahead and come over here. And I'm going to type that in. So I'm going to put it in quotes because it's a quotation. It's not my own words. A very cold, dry place. Okay, what else can I find? Oh, remember, they wanted us to look in the headings and captions. So I'm going to look in the captions. And it says that these dark places right here are dry, dry, rocky places. They're ice free. So ice free doesn't ice free just mean like dry because ice is just frozen water. And when ice, there's no ice, that means it's dry, right? So we can go ahead and highlight largest ice-free areas. And we're just gonna highlight it. 
makes it a little hard to see, but we can still put it over here in our table. Largest ice free areas. Okay, wonderful. So now I want to take what I know. All right, I know that I know a little bit about Antarctica and that photo is covered in lots of snow and ice. I know Antarctica is very cold. All right, so the inference I can draw based on what I know and what I found in the text is the captions and headings do what? Do the captions and headings help you to infer? Help me to infer. Go ahead and pause this video and see if you can finish that sentence. And then come back here and see if we you get something close to what I have. Welcome back. All right, so the captions headings help me to infer, and I'm going to say that the dry valleys are very cold and dry places in Antarctica. Help me to infer the dry, oh, we gotta capitalize that, dry valleys are very cold and dry places in Antarctica. Okay, I made the inference that they are cold and dry based on what I know and what the text tells me. So you are going to do the same thing for prompts two through five and for the sixth prompt, prompt you will have it on your exit ticket along with a reflection. All right, thank you very much guys.